Welcome everyone to the October TDL Member Forum. My name is Christy Park. I'm the Executive Director of the Texas Digital Library. I hope everybody's having a great week so far and a great month. We'll um, start as we normally do with our land acknowledgement as we gather in this shared virtual space. Um, we'll acknowledge the physical places from which we join, all located on the indigenous lands of Turtle Island, the ancestral name for what is now called North America. Our staff at Texas Digital Library work fully remotely, and we are all joining from our own specific places. I'm joining from Austin in Central Texas, where the Tonkawa were among the traditional stewards of the land before their forcible removal. And I invite you to share your own land acknowledgements in chat if you'd like to. We'll follow our usual agenda, and I'm joined by our Deputy Director, Courtney Muma, <clears throat> and our Outreach Coordinator, Kiara Hunt, in providing updates today. And thank you to Megan Hernandez for um, being our slide sharer today as well. So, um, Starting with some director updates, I want to remind everybody um, of the dates for TCDL 2024. We will be back in Austin at the Commons Conference Center May 21st through the 23rd. And we have this beautiful new logo, courtesy of Kiara Hunt. Thank you, Kiara, for that. Uh, I also want to thank our entire TCDL 2024 planning committee, which began meeting in September and we formed subcommittees and um, those subcommittees are meeting and just getting really busy to plan next year's event. We're really so grateful to all these folks for their commitment and their work on the conference this year. Um, the chair for this year's conference is Diane Lopez from UT San Antonio, and Heidi Winkler is serving as vice chair from Texas Tech University. We also have Ian Barba from Texas Tech, Ming Yu Chen from UT Dallas, Melinda Dalton from Texas A&M International, Susan Elkins from Sam Houston State, Karina Franco from UT San Antonio, Ginger Garza from Texas Women's University, Paloma Graciano Picardo from the Harry Ransom Center here at UT Austin, uh, Megan Hernandez and Kiara Hunt from TDL <clears throat> serving on the committees, Sylvia Jones from Southern Methodist, Colleen Lyon from UT Austin, Tom Lyons from UNT Health Science Center, Marcia McIntosh from University of North Texas, Joseph Pruitt from Angelo State, BB Raglan, <clears throat> excuse me, from AM Corpus Christi. Jane Scott from UT Southwestern Medical, Adrian Shapiro from Texas Women's, and Jeremy Thompson from UT Austin. This is just a phenomenal group. I've been really excited to get to meet with them a couple times, and um, they're just doing great work, so thank you. All right, also a reminder about our annual member board meeting. This meeting is the meeting of all of our regular member deans and directors who meet once per year to do business and get updates about the work of the consortium. And um, they're meeting on October 25th at 2 p.m. Central. This is um, largely an open meeting. So at least the first hour of this meeting will be public and you're invited to attend if you would like to. Um, you can register at a link that we'll provide um, and let us know that, that you'll be there. And we'd love to see you there. Okay, so we're going to move on into our services and projects updates, um, and I'll hand it over to Courtney to get us started. Thanks, Christy. Hi, everybody. Glad to see so many of you here with us today. Um, I'm going to start with a reminder about our digital preservation interest group. We have our quarterly digital preservation interest group meeting this week. Um, this Thursday, and the meeting is going to be a chance for library and archive staff from around the region to discuss their successes and help each other manage their challenges together. You can find more information and how to join the meeting um, at the link in chat. We hope to see you there. Um, I've also got an update from our DPLA service. Our quarterly DPLA harvest is coming very soon, and um, you'll be able to view all of the updated collections as well as one new one from Texas Women's University in early November. 
The DPLA also held their open board meeting this Monday, um, and I attended. They announced several upcoming coffee chats, which are virtual and free to attend. Those events are on the topics of curating digital content, Wikimedia, teaching and learning with DPLA resources, and the recent DPLA metadata best practices report. You can register to any of those at the link that we're providing here in chat. Uh, next up, I'm going to share with you some info about Vireo and the Texas Data Repository. Um, so let's start with Vireo. Migrations and upgrades continue um, on the newest version of Vireo 4. We had a fabulous and engaging Vireo annual meeting last Monday. Our Vireo steering committee and lead developer Frank Smutniak helped Christy and I update the Vireo open source community about sustainability measures we've taken over the last year, accessibility and development improvements, and TDL's migration pro progress so far. We also introduced our new product owner um, and, pro and um, product manager, Christopher Starcher, who you see here on the screen. The meeting was recorded, so you can find links to the video and other meeting materials in the chat. Let's move on to TDR. The Texas Data Repository Steering Committee has several active subcommittees since their annual meeting in May um, at TCDL where they set their priorities. The groups are now working on things like gathering sensitive data resources to share, data retention st strategies, and ways to accommodate larger data site sets in the TDR. Additionally, OCLC and Liber invited me to speak on their opening plenary panel for a new webinar series called Building for the Future. The OCLC Liber Building for the Future program is a multi-year engagement series based on Liber's 2023 to 2027 strategy, which presents a vision for the future of research libraries. On the panel, I talked about the TDR steering committee mostly, emphasizing how we learn together and engage with the global Dataverse community. And there should be lots of link links in the slides for you. Christy's going to give you updates on DSpace and OJX next. OK, thanks, Courtney. So a few updates um, on repository hosting. Um, Similarly to Vireo, we're in the process of upgrading all of our hosted repositories to DSpace 7, and those are continuing at a, a good pace. Nick Woodward has now successfully upgraded 16 or maybe 17 as of today of our 23 hosted member repositories, so we're about two-thirds of the way through and um, should be concluding this work before Thanksgiving. We'll share some links in chat to our upgrade schedule so you can see which members are already working in DSpace 7 and where your institution is in the order of upgrades if we haven't gotten to you yet. We'll also reshare some links to an FAQ about the upgrade process and the documentation created by the DSpace 7 Upgrades Task Force about using DSpace 7. And um, just a scheduling note, the next DSpace user group meeting is on October 24th next week. And then the November meeting is rescheduled for December 5th because it was falling during the Thanksgiving holiday. So that December 5th meeting will be the last one of the year. So um, make sure your calendars are updated and that you'll be able to attend. On to open access journals. Um, just a reminder that TDL's Ema Odwok completed a voluntary product accessibility template or VPAT for our open access journal hosting service. And that documentation is now available for download on our wiki. If you need it to share with folks at your institution, we'll put a link uh, to that in chat. And our next OJS user group meeting will be on November 2nd. So we hope to see you there. And then finally, I want to let everybody know that our um, new TDL OER user group, users group will meet next on November 14th at 3 p.m. That group is developing its charter and work plan for the coming year. And so now is the time to get in on the ground floor of this group's exciting efforts to support the use of open educational resources. 
there is a members only email list we're using to communicate with this group and we'll put a link to that in chat so you can subscribe if you're interested in staying in touch with what they're up to. And I also want just want to remind you all of the benefits of TDL's consortial membership in the Open Education Network. We're going to provide a link to a new web page um, on our website with some more info about what those benefits are. And we'll be using our monthly Open OER users group meetings to provide updates about OEN and keep folks informed about um, opportunities that, that come through that membership. All right, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Kiara Hunt, our Outreach and Membership Engagement Coordinator, to provide some community updates. Hello, everyone. We would like to invite you all to connect with us on our social media platforms. Um, they're listed right here on the slide, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. Um, we'll be announcing TDL news and updates on each platform, as well as on our website at tdl.org. We'll share the links to all of our platforms in the chat below, including where to sign up for our emails. Next up, we want to remind you about the pre-GIS day celebration hosted by TDL GIS Interest Group. This virtual event will take place on November 8th at 3 p.m. and will give attendees the opportunity to hear about GIS research learn unique tips and tricks using GIS technology, discover how librarians have supported GIS research at their campuses and more. Additionally, the GIS interest group is accepting proposals for the program for this event. So presentations can take a variety of formats and cover a variety of topics in GIS and mapping. All presentations are welcome and slides are optional. Even if, you, even if your research is still in the early stages, your colleagues want to hear about it. The deadline for proposals is Wednesday, November 1st. We'll post some links in the chat below um, where you can learn about the events and register and how to submit a proposal. Next up, we invite you to join Open Texas Conference or organizers on November 15th for a special webinar exploring the Horizons of Open Education in Texas. This free 90-minute webinar will feature a keynote address by Daniel Williamson, the Managing Director of OpenStax, speaking about the current headwinds and tailwinds affecting open educational resources use and looking towards the future of OER. Just as a reminder, Open Texas convenes librarians, faculty, administrators, and other open education questionnaires and advocates in Texas to share knowledge and promote collaboration in service of open educational resources. TDL has partnered with the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board to organize a special webinar event, as well as the Open Texas Conference. Speaking of which, that conference will be back in full force in 2024. You can mark your calendars in advance for September 25th through 27th next year. And if you attend a webinar on November 15th, you will hear some exciting news about that event and have the opportunity to join planning efforts. We'll include the link down in the chat um, how you can register for the event. Here's the list of upcoming meetings for the remainder of October and into November. We hope, we, we hope that you will join us for all of these events. And now I'll hand it back over to Christy. Thanks, Kiara and Courtney for those updates. Uh, we do have time. Let's oh yeah, we have lots of time for questions, announcements, discussion, um, if anybody has any before our time is up today. Um, and while you while you think about what you'd like to ask, if there is anything, I just want to remind you about the TDL sub suggestion box. If you have feedback or suggestions you'd like to give to TDL, we hope you'll you'll use that to communicate with us. It is anonymous um, if you would like it to be. Um, you can also contact us at info at tdl.org or through one of our personal emails as well. We'd love to hear from you if you have questions. Anybody have a question 
for us today? I'm not seeing anything in chat at the moment. Okay. Well, I appreciate everybody being here and your attention today. Um, thanks for being here. I hope during what is a kind of tumultuous time right now in the world that you're all taking care of yourselves and and each other and um, appreciate the time that you spent with us here today. Um, we will see you same time, same place next month and, and hopefully before then. Everybody take care.